Thank you for clicking It's Starting Now. Hi, I'm Andreas Schmiedeker. I'm the producer of the game The Eternal Life of Goldman for THQ Nordic. And the game is being developed by Weepy Studio. The Eternal Life of Goldman is a breathtaking platform adventure inspired by ancient legends and fairy tales. It will take you back to this era of classic 16-bit platformers done in classic frame-by-frame -frame animation, all done by hand. I would say the most unique thing about The Eternal Life of Goldman is this unparalleled attention to detail with 2D art. So you probably have seen you know, hand-drawn art before, but not at this scale, not at this level of detail, and done without any AI or um, generative methods involved to bring details to every little facet of the game. So many people ask about the art style and the inspiration behind the art style of The Eternal Life of Goldman. It is mostly classic animated movies and French-Belgian comics, um, mostly Hergé and uh, the Lynn Claire art style. So to create that art is really a very difficult and complicated process because everything is done by hand. So you would do you know, your, your coloring, your lining, um, all the animation, all the backgrounds, all the foregrounds, all the small details by hand, day by day. And it's really, you know, there's no other way of doing it in that level of detail. So it can take a lot of time, it can, can take up to months or even up to a year for a biome to be finished. Um, it is really intense and difficult, but we feel it's worth the effort in the end. The main character of The Eternal Life of Goldman is somewhat unusual because it's an old man with a cane and a beard that you don't see that often in video games. Um, he's a reference to um, you know these ancient fables and parables where you would often have an old man as protagonist who would be you know witty and outsmart his enemies but it's also very specific reasons within the narrative why he has that age and looks like that that I will not go into details because of spoilers So I think we're most excited for players to figure out all the small details about the world and you know the story. So like there's lots of small little things in the animation, in the backgrounds and foregrounds that you can find and look for to tell a story. And just you know for players to figure it out, puzzle it all together, piece it together, and that would be super interesting for us to find out. The main inspiration for the Eternal Life of Goldman are these platformers of the 16-bit era. And we hope the game will take you back to that era or you know will make you experience that for the first time. And it is really you not know, this kind of side-scrolling adventure, but with the accessibility and the quality of life features of a modern game. I think if you appreciate handcrafted art and especially you know 2D line art, then you will love the Eternal Life of Goldman. And also if you're a fan of classic platformers.